Hey guys, my name is Serena Hohenstein. I have been studying in Valencia, Spain for the past four months and I wanted to share some of my favorite places with you. So, here you go. The Carmen Cultural Center is quite the blend of old and new. An old monastery dating back to the 1200s, the Cultural Center is home to art galleries and installations. When I attended, the galleries were Soroya, with a focus on how Valencian beaches inspired his work, Eva Moose, and Victoria Cano. They're all Valencian artists, with the latter being a professor at the Polytechnic University of Valencia. What's unique about this location is that to get to the various galleries, you have to walk through a few courtyards. The courtyard that greets you as you enter the facility is a gothic courtyard. It's relatively barren, but beautiful in its own right. If you look closely, you can see the original stone, quite literally rocks, that was the first thing that was built, and then you can also see where the building on top of that started, where they added on. It's a pretty neat thing to see. From there, you get to the Soroya exhibit. Since I have been in Valencia, I have absolutely fallen in love with Soroya. There's just something about the way that he paints detail and lack thereof, and also his use of colors. His paintings are so vibrant. Some of my favorite works include Elena Vista de Esquena y Playa de Valencia. When you exit Soroya, you enter the Renaissance Courtyard. This is a place that I could sit and be content for days. The greenery is so lush and the green of the trees with the gray of the concrete create this incredible contrast. It's just so beautiful. Fun fact, I was having a very stressful day the day I went and I had about 10 minutes before I had to leave the area so I went back to the Renaissance Courtyard and I just leaned against the wall and looked out against the green and I just stood there and breathed for 10 minutes and it felt amazing. I kind of did a little meditation. It was wonderful. The next exhibit takes you up a staircase and into the world of Eva Moose. Her art played a lot with textures and distortion of images. It wasn't particularly my cup of tea, but it was interesting to see that kind of art. The final exhibit gave me so much joy. Victoria Cano uses extremely bright colors. Bright blues and reds and greens and purples and yellows. And she has a motif of thumbprints throughout her work. Sometimes her art depicts a scene, like her New York piece or her green garden, and other times it just evokes a feeling, generally one of happiness or gratitude. Once I settle down, I fully intend on trying to get myself a Victoria Cano piece for my home. There really is just a wonderful lightness about her work. Unfortunately, these exhibits are only at the Cultural Center for a couple more weeks, but no matter, come anyway. The location and history behind the building itself is enough to take the trip. Oh, and did I mention, it only costs two euros. How cool is that? You can see so much art for two euros. Also, you can see down into the earth, into the old Arab quarter that they recently dug up. You can see old streets and waterways. That's pretty cool. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you want to learn more about this location, check out the description box below where I have put links to the website and phone numbers and addresses so you can go check it out for yourself. Also, if you want to learn more about Valencia, I did a whole series of these videos, so just click on my face and it will take you to the playlist so you can see all of my favorite spots in Valencia. See you soon!